wonder who's the best game, the best good boy in gaming. Hmm. That's a tough one. Do you mean as in a dog or just uh, just in general? <laughs> just in general, good boy. Oh fuck, run! <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. I can't do anything to this asshole out of the way. <laughs> Get him. Over here. Ooh. <laughs> Over there. Hmm, dog, let's see. <gasps> Shit, no, no, flee! <laughs> oh! Haha! <laughs> 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 well, that didn't work, did it? Hehe. <laughs> Thinking about dogs, let's see, we've got we've got Huey from this game. He's a very good boy. But we also have um, Brown from Rule of Rose. Now he's a very good boy because he can actually send out items that you uh, let him sniff. So he can find all those additional items. So I'd say he's a very good boy. Uh but well, I can't think of what other game or other um things there are. You know what, let's have a look out of curiosity. While well, I'm hiding here like a little bitch. Um Though to be fair, he has a gun and I don't, so you know. Uh Someone's gotta have made a list of this. Companions and video Oh, that's a thing we rush from Mega Man, Vex from Fallout in New Vegas, and then I just realised there's uh, dog meat from the Fallout series because there are numerous versions of dog meat. All right, does she actually have a thing written down here for? Nope. Just gonna have to skip forward a bit. and loyal pup. Well, we sure do, and that's why today we are counting down a handful of our favorite dog friends and much exactly that. The top 10 best dogs in video games. As you know what, let's... <laughs> uh, I did get too easy distracted, but uh, let's let's have a look at this uh, video for a second. Note that not all of these puppers are companions. Some are NPCs and some even antagonize you. But regardless, we love them all. Let's see top top ten Number of what she's made. Duck hunt dog. Starting off our list, <laughs> likely the most. I forgot about the duck hunt dog. Of video game history. It's the duck hunt. But dog. I don't give a dog shit about him. Exactly one of the most hated characters in video games too, or at least seen as one. Many a gamer. Up next, number nine, Rush. Rush yeah, is the Rush from Mega Man. of Mega Man in Mega Man 3, a bionic robot dog that is capable of more than just being Mega Man's best friend. See, see what I did there? Rush has many an ability. He can transform into a coil, a hoverboard, a damn submarine, meaning he's <laughs> definitely a pooch you want to take with you on all of your quests. He also matches your suit in the game, so like squad goals, obviously. And at number eight, Odd Sock. This odd little sock is your pooch equivalent in Little Big Planet 3. As described by the game, he's not quite a dog, he's more, well, 
He's just an odd sock. Oh, shucks. How adorable. <laughs> he can jump and Never heard of odd sock, personally. Which for some made for more... What should we know? Fuck you, bitch. really ups the ante in the game. And at number seven, D-Dog. D-Dog is the pupper that you get to hang out with in Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. As a bunny, ah. you can find <laughs> for use of mission. He's got no patch. He's cool as hell. I mean, for starters, he's missing an eye. I mean, there, there is that old question that dogs <laughs> <with> <laughs> Yeah. Anywho, this tough pup lost his right eye and was thought to be an orphan when Snake found him in 1984. Snake's dog is so badass, it has to have an eye patch as well. the ultimate companion. He's generally seen as one of the most flexible companions that Snake can have in the game. Marking enemies, locating wild animals, medicinal plants, landmines, you name it. Now, speaking of dogs that look super badass... In our next number, Sif the Great Grey Wolf. Okay, sure, ah. Sif is technically a wolf and not a dog. But hey, distant canine relatives... Right? Anywho, Sif is from Dark Souls. Not that and distant, is the companion yeah. of Sir Arturaeus, the Abyss Walker. He's also huge as hell and walks around with a massive sword in his doofy job. Now, Sif is a bit of a tragic character. When his master was swallowed hmm. up by the Abyss, he threw his great shield up to protect Sif. Sif now guards his master's grave and his ring as a means to make sure that the same thing doesn't happen to anyone else. Sadly, Sif is a boss that you must defeat. Although there was once a rumor that you could spare him and he'd limp away, which... Sadly, it turned out to not be true. And at Shame, five, really? Growlithe. Is Growlithe technically <laughs> Growlithe? Dog? What? I mean, Growlithe are dog-like Pokemon. I, I breathing pooch. I evolved. didn't imagine Growlithe being on this list. One of the deadliest Pokemon in the first generation of these pocket monsters. Now, these days, you can even Growlithe. choose to walk around with Growlithe following you in Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, a feature that was added in previous Oh, Sif is a she. I so didn't know that, cool their most recent Switch titles. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be followed around by a loyal fire-breathing pet? Well, as long as it's a trained fire-breathing pet, I suppose. And yeah, I wonder if anyone else is pointing that out. Well, I don't see anyone immediately saying that. Number four, K.K. Slider. K.K. Slider is by far one of the coolest pooches on this list. From Animal Crossing, this doggo has made appearances in all of the Animal Crossing games to date, with one sole purpose, to play guitar. He performs <laughs> music for you and is cool as hell while doing it. What's not to love? K.K. Slider is the epitome of why Animal Crossing is so darn beloved. It's a series that is charming as hell, just a tar-slinging dog to be. And at number three, Chop. Chop, how can you not love Chop? Not only does he attack your enemies and rides around in cars with you, he plays fetch. He's got attitude, and you can even play him. Well, I found him kind of shitty, to be honest. Of fun in classic Grand Theft Auto fashion. Chop was one of the multitude of features that was introduced in GTA V that made fans adore the gameplay and added a fun new dynamic. So he moved his own. That's humorous. awesome. Plus, once Franklin gets his sweet new digs, Chop's doghouse follows and can be found in his massive backyard close I'm to the pool. I'm a bit worried now because we're already up to uh, really a, bond uh, a number three, and some of the ones I thought and I've listed have not appeared yet. Basically, a virtual pet that you get to look at. In fact, none of the ones I listed have appeared. Yet. Moving on to number two, Boomer. Boomer is one of the animal companions that you can acquire in Far Cry 5, and he's arguably one of the best. Aww. With personality and life, he's a blast to have at your side. I've not played that Far enemies, Cry game yet, to be honest. When you're trying to be stealthy I thought he won't be streaming it, uh, to be honest. I'm not, like I'm not too happy with the Ubisoft's behavior, to be honest. Boomer was still one of the best and it's not and a monetization thing. It's him him in the rape allegations and the... Abuse of staff allegations that are the issue. And finally, in at number one, dog meat. Oh, dog meat. Dog meat is your pooch companion from the <sighs> series, a reoccurring character from the first Fallout and. The yeah, that that list is shit. <laughs> I've decided that list is shit. How can you not list Brown from Rule of Rose or Huey from this game? Dogs that save your fucking life. Oh, hey, Ren, how are you doing? Uh, me and Maxwell were just curious about who is the best, uh, you know, the best good boy in uh, video gaming. Like, the best dog. And so we wanted to, we wanted to figure out, you know, we were just curious, who is the best dog in these games? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. I can hear him coming. Yeah, dog me being number one. Hmm. I would kind of agree if you were to put all the Fallout dog meats in one. Like if you were to put all the iterations of him from the first game, the second game, third game, and fourth game, then yes, I could see him as being number one. But I 
Yeah, yeah, Rush, Rush did come... Rush was in the count. Unfortunately, Rush was number 9 out of 10. Rush was number 9 out of 10. Yeah, and Sif were on the list as well. Uh, oh shit, we need to... Which way was it? This way. Yeah, for the sound of that, he should... He was more than deserving to be ninth on that fucking list. Especially as some of the characters on there are kind of like... Mm. I mean, I agree with Sif being on that list. Sif definitely deserves to be on that list. But, uh... At the same time... 